The Brady Bunch, a beloved American sitcom that first aired in 1969, remains a nostalgic staple for many TV viewers. Over the years, the show has lost several of its cast members, each leaving behind a legacy intertwined with the series' enduring charm. This video pays tribute to 29 actors from the Brady Bunch who have passed away, celebrating their contributions to the iconic family series and reflects on the enduring impact they've left on fans and the TV landscape. See Lindsay Workman in the sitcom in place Bertram Grossman. In 1970, when he was in the sitcom, he was 46 and sadly passed away on April 24th, 2012 at 88. Ooh, with a lot more space. Yeah. I know, Mike's taken me through it. Mm, half a dozen times. No, it's, uh, it's gonna be fine. What about this house? Have you talked it over? Will I find a buyer? Marcia Wallace in the sitcom she plays Mrs. Robbins. In 1971, when she was in the sitcom, she was 28, and sadly she passed away on October 25th, 2013, at 70 years old. Oh, hi, Mr. Robbins! Oh, hi, Mr. Robbins! We're all so proud of you. Good morning, Mr. Robbins. Oh, I've never seen the students so excited. <laughs> Magnificent. Ken Berry in the sitcom he plays Ken Kelly. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 40 years old and sadly passed away on December 1st, 2018 at 85. It's then one, you know. Of course, we could put another bed in Matt's room. Uh... Florence Henderson in the sitcom she plays Carol Brady. In 1969, when she was in the series, she was 35, and sadly she passed away on November 24th, 2016 at 82. Anything. What's the matter with that? Six kids and no noise. That's what's the matter with that. <laughs> Victor Killian, in the sitcom he played Mr. Stoner. In 1970, when he was in the sitcom, he was 79, and sadly passed away on March 11, 1979 at 88. No, I think that's still too much, right, boys? I agree, Dad. Me too. Well, I, I gotta give him something. Uh, how about twenty dollars? Hal Smith in the sitcom he plays Cartoon King. In 1969, when he was in the sitcom, he was 53. Sadly, he passed away on January 28, 1994, at 77. And a baseball mitt, lefty, and a bow and arrow set, and a... Oh, all right, Sonny, I'll do all I can for you. Uh, now, you just run along and be a good boy, I'm won't only you? half in it. Bart LaRue, in the sitcom he plays coach. In 1971, when he was in the sitcom, he was 39, and sadly passed away on January 5th, 1990, at 57. That's hitting it, Larry, that's the way to hit it. Gee, the Rams can sure use you. <laughs> hey, Dad, what time is it? Oh, that's about it, Deacon. Freddy's gotta go, fellas. Pete Herbert in the sitcom he plays Mr. Driscoll. In 1969, when he was in the sitcom, he was 55, and sadly passed away on June 23rd, 1989, at 74. Kitty Carriol! And that's the last one I have. Keep running out. Boy, will Cindy be happy. I'll take it. Okay. Jim Beckers in the sitcom he plays Zachariah T. Brown. In 1971, when he was in the sitcom, he was 58 and sadly passed away on July 3rd, 1989, at 76. And their equipment, they plan to stay a while. Yes, sir, I wonder how they heard about my strike, huh? But it won't happen again. J. Pat O'Malley in the sitcom he plays Henry Tyler. In 1969, when he was in the sitcom, he was 65, and sadly he passed away on February 27, 1985, at the age of 80. Bobby. Hello! Uh, Mike! So you decided to show up after all. <laughs> Henry. Jack Collins in the sitcom he plays Mr. Phillips. In 1970, when he was in the sitcom, he was 52, and sadly passed away on January 31st, 2005, at 86. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you didn't call me in here to throw darts. What's up? Mike, uh, you've always gone all out for this company. I mean, Saturdays, weekends. Jonathan Ho in the sitcom he plays Thackeray. In 1970, when he was in the sitcom, he was 66 and sadly passed away on February 11, 1998 at 93. Marsha Brady. I never heard of her. Any relation to Nicholas Brady, 1659 to 1726? 
Michael Lerner in the sitcom he plays Johnny. In 1969, when he was in the sitcom, he was 28 and sadly passed away on April 8, 2023, at 81. With his eyes? <laughs> <laughs> and with a few little extras. What kind of extras? Uh, for instance, a license with the kids. Stephen Dunn in the sitcom he played Mark Millard. In 1971, when he was in the sitcom, he was 53 and sadly passed away on September 2nd, 1977 at 59. How can I eat Alice when I can't take my eyes off you? Oh, Mark. <laughs> You've blossomed with the years, Alice. Fred Pinkard in the sitcom he plays Mr. Stokey. In 1969, when he was in the sitcom, he was 49 and sadly passed away on August 2nd, 2004 at 84. Package for the Brady Boys. Oh, say, I'll bet that's that giant telescope kit they sent away for. Greg, Peter, Bobby! Boy, we've been waiting for this. Herb Vigren in the sitcom he plays The Examiner. In 1970, when he was in the sitcom, he was 60 years old and sadly he passed away on November 29, 1986 at 76. Anne B. Davis in the sitcom she plays Alice Nelson. In 1969, when she was in the sitcom, she was 43. And sadly, she passed away on June 1st, 2014 at 88. Kids are not a coliseum. I'm just getting in a little practice, Alice. Yo, wait a second. Is this yours? I know it's Bobby's. I'm telling him it won't be if he doesn't keep it out of the kitchen. Take it up to him. <laughs> Herbert Anderson in the sitcom he plays Dr. Cameron. In 1969, when he was in the sitcom, he was 52, and sadly he passed away on June 11, 1994, at 77. Hours and the workload and the, you know, the problems of not having a, a, an associate. And so we've decided to combine our practice. <laughs> well. Vincent Price, in the sitcom he plays Professor Hubert Whitehead. In 1972, when he was in the sitcom, he was 61 and sadly passed away on October 25th, 1993, at 82. Ointment, Oliver. A sticky wicket. What are we gonna do with these boys, Oliver? He keeps calling that thing Oliver. Barbara Morrison in the sitcom she plays, drama coach. In 1970, when she was in the sitcom, she was 21, and sadly she passed away on March 16, 2022, at 72. You are much too young to be receiving flowers from a stranger. Much too young. Friend Ryan in the sitcom she played Mrs. Hunsaker. In 1970, when she was in the sitcom, she was 53, and sadly she passed away on January 15, 2000, at 83. Lady. Mrs. Hunsaker? <laughs> Hi, Bert. Well, have you uh, had the royal tour? Well, what I haven't seen, I've heard, Mr. Brady. <laughs> Alan Melvin in the sitcom he plays Sam Franklin. In 1969, when he was in the sitcom, he was 46 and sadly passed away on January 17, 2008 at 84. Hi, Sam. Well, tonight's the semi-finals at the Supermarket Bowling League. Yeah. Us meat cutters against the bread and pastry boys. Dick Winslow in the sitcom he plays Mark Winters. In 1971, when he was in the sitcom, he was 56 and sadly passed away on February 7, 1991, at 75. Sure, great human interest stuff. We have a lot of human interest around here. My brother and I just fixed my sister's radio. That's fine, son, but one story at a time. E.G. Marshall, in the sitcom he played J.P. Randolph. In 1970, when he was in the sitcom, he was 56, and sadly passed away on August 24, 1998, at 84. Or oh, that remark. That's right, Mr. Randolph. Marsha, I'd like to believe you. You've always been a good student, but... Jackie Coogan in the sitcom he plays Harry Duggan. In 1971, when he was in the sitcom, he was 57 and sadly passed away on March 1st, 1984, at 69. Went to a shop. From what my wife told me, uh, there wasn't that much damage done to your car. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, she banged up my car pretty bad. Pretty bad. Joseph Mel, in the sitcom he played drug guest. In 1970, when he was in the sitcom, he was 55, and sadly he passed away on August 31st, 1977, at 62. I suppose these freckles she has, they're a real big problem. They're ruining her life. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. 
Gordon Jump in the sitcom he plays Collins. In 1970, when he was in the sitcom, he was 38 and sadly passed away on September 22nd, 2003 at 71. The Valley Book Emporium, Fisher's used books on Vineland, the old press on Chase Boulevard, and Elmo's Drive. Marjorie Stapp in the sitcom she played Mrs. Ekstrom. In 1969, when she was in the sitcom, she was 48, and sadly she passed away on June 2nd, 2014 at 92. Parents, what'll we do? Settle it democratically, I guess. We'll have to limit each cast member to only one ticket. Each child can decide for himself which member of his family. Robert Reed in the sitcom he plays Mike Brady. In 1969, when he was in the series, he was 37 and sadly passed away on May 12, 1992 at 59. Six kids and me and Tiger all adds up to work. What work? Vacuuming, dusting, making the beds, cooking the meals, washing the... What do you think when 29 actors from the Brady Bunch sadly passed away? And who do you miss the most among them? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to wait for my next videos. Thank you.